Hi everyone, my name is Devangi Kothari. I have recently completed my thesis. My thesis topic is Sunraksham Multisensorial Remando. So how did I choose this topic? So it was more like ki when I see in the surrounding there are so many children who don't get uh, facilities they should be getting. They are the uh, future of our nation. They don't get uh, proper educational facilities or health facilities, nutritional food, stay. So that's why uh, where remand home comes. Uh, they are the place where they get all the facility in, under one institution. Uh, that's how I decided to select this topic. Uh, while choosing my site, there are certain things that we need to keep in our mind while selecting a site for remand home. So uh, there should be a uh, police station nearby, medical facilities, educational facilities, as well as intercity transportation or you, uh, we should even generate employment uh, for the people staying there. So I uh, decided that I want my site to be in Nagpur and uh, my site is located near Gonkheri, uh, which is a little bit outside of Nagpur, but uh, there is a small village where we can generate employment. Then after this, uh, what was the main thing that I wanted uh, my concept to be? So I decided to come up with a multi-sensorial theme. Uh, why multi-sensorial? Because if we see children are in their tender age when they develop their physical, cognitive and mental development is done in their uh, years like 6 to 16. And uh, my facility will be for uh, male, only male uh, at the age of 6 to 16. So I wanted them to develop all these abilities in the same institution. So when they feel a texture, when they hear sounds, they start to develop their cognitive. And that's why multi-sensorial is the best uh, facility that will uh, they will get over there. Along with an education, and I also wanted to make them self-sufficient when they should do uh, well in the outside city as well. So I wanted to give them all those needs, uh, teach them the uh, things that will help them when they go out they could able to do something on their own. So that was the whole concept that I had in my mind. So I started designing uh, in the Gone Kerry site and it is a six acre site. And in that site, I have kept a uh, future expansion as well. Uh, if they want to do it for females as well, they can do over there. So uh, in this facility, what I have given is, I have given them educational facilities I have provided medical facilities, I have provided kitchen and I have even provided a vocational training where they will be trained other ITIs and other things like pottery, carpenters, then farming and all this will help them. So uh, when I started planning, my basic thinking was to incorporate nature while doing a planning. So I have provided courtyards in every uh, building. So if we see a educational facility also, they have places to go out and study as well. It is not like they have to sit inside in a classroom only to study. They can go outside, they can play, they can also learn something over there. Then I have in my concept, nature plays a very big role. So I have provided landscape uh, such that where they can uh, even learn. So near my kitchen. I've provided organic farming so they can go there, they can plant their own trees. So when they will pluck uh, themselves and they will eat it, they will learn responsibility. How to nurture a plant, how to grow it. Uh, like aroma is a therapy. So near my health facility, I've provided flowers and plants which will help them in uh, aroma therapy. Like jasmine and other uh, flowering plants, their smells can also help them in getting better. Uh, because they might have a mental health issues and that will help them a lot. I have even have a farming uh, farms and gardens where they can grow. They can start uh, understanding how agriculture works and it is a therapeutic method. Then I have provided various amount of play, uh, playgrounds and sport activities in which major concern was uh, if we see right now. Uh, so every children are more into gadgets technology. I wanted them to have something with the nature. So I have given them na natural playscapes where they will uh, climb up a tree or play around the nature. So there is one, there is another play sport area where there is an adventure they, uh, where they will run in the nature and they will 
it's a place where they will explore new things and if we see children they create their own spaces as per we design they will find a place where they can sit discuss i wanted to incorporate staff as well as children in the same facility because uh, a grown up person can help a children a lot by telling them how to be and nurturing them so there are spaces shared spaces where staff will come up along with the children and they can sit there are places where medicals will come up and help them in getting out of their mental state that was the main focus when i started designing accommodation facilities for them the main concern was i wanted to provide them ventilations and natural spaces where they can sit out they can read they can do whatever they want they can explore themselves rather than being in a closed uh, space so uh, while designing as well i have provided long corridors where they can roam around there are open spaces they can go out they can come inside the uh, rooms are do- there are dormitories for small children there are uh, two sh- double sharing bedrooms for elder ones and in this place i wanted small children and the grown up children should also have something in common so what i did was uh, there is an activity scheduled uh, according to the ages and accordingly the spaces have been divided so the grown up would be taking care they would be mentoring the uh, infants like 6 to 11 year old can be taken care by the older ones like 11 to 16 year olds and that's how they will understand what is the responsibility they would be taking in the uh, upcoming years of their life after that while planning what i have done is i have given a sports court in the center of my site which will act as a venturi effect so that i can trap cool air inside my facility and it will ventilate naturally i don't have to rely on lot of artificial lightings or artificial ventilation i've provided ample amount of openings and i've provided all the openings more uh, wider openings in the north northern side of the building so I provided sports court in the center in which all my buildings are opening in the sports courtyard it is creating an introvert type of facility where a small space is opening to a bigger space and larger space so this is the whole concept i was following during my planning and the final output is based on this where the children will develop their cognitive physical mental health along with they will be getting educational facilities vocational trainings health facilities and they will learn a lot they will learn how to be a self sufficient person they will when they will go out they will be able to get an employment based on their uh, experiences they will have they will have a better mental health and they will be able to sustain in the upcoming future thank you everyone